Hi, my artists. Your assignment for art today is to think about your favorite foods. So I know this project might make you a little bit hungry, um, but I want you to enjoy drawing your favorite foods and coming up with a cool design. So let's think about some of those foods. I know there are a lot of you kids who love pizza. Okay, um, you could include pizza on your plate. Your plate that you draw might be piled high with all different kinds of foods. Um, you may only have a few favorite foods. You can draw whatever you would like. Some people love spaghetti and meatballs. Um, with all different kinds of food, sometimes you have uh, some foods that are healthier, like salsa. Okay, that's probably a healthy choice. And then raspberries, some people love fruits. Okay, you might want to think of some fruits that you could include, what your favorite fruit is. Watermelon's another delicious one that a lot of people love. And a lot of people eat salad. Um, I know I love these cherry tomatoes and green leafy salad. It's very tasty, especially with a little bit of dressing on there. There are all kinds of choices. Now here's one that I know everyone loves. Everybody likes french fries. French fries are delicious. You could include those in your favorite foods. And another thing that's really tasty, but also delicious, or tasty and delicious, but also healthy, are bananas. So you might want to think of those whenever you're drawing your favorite foods in your artwork, okay? Now these are books that I got from the library that show you different types of foods that are different colors. Um, so you may want to check these out after I turn them back in. Um, this one is a book filled with orange foods. Lots of people like popsicles. Um, there, this is the inside of a butternut squash. Some of you guys may have never seen the inside of a butternut squash, but it's really stringy and seedy on the inside, much like a pumpkin. And I know a lot of us have carved pumpkins. Oranges. Your favorite drink may be orange juice. Um, there's the popsicle again. Okay, peaches. Peaches are delicious. I love peach cobblers. I love peaches just in general, out of a jar or from a regular peach. This is an orange apricot, which is the peach's cousin. Um, that's pretty cool. Here's a pumpkin pie. You might have um, pumpkin pie at Thanksgiving time. So I'm just trying to spark your memory and make you think about different foods that you love. Everybody loves cheese. Well, not everybody, but most people love cheese. Cheese is one of my favorite foods. Now, it's also good to have some green leafy vegetables. Okay, this one is called Green, Group, green Food Fun. And inside of here, you'll see many different options. We got broccoli. Kiwi is very delicious. This is pistachio ice cream, and these are grapes. Um, if you like vegetables, you probably eat a lot of green foods. Here's a page that has several different ones. Um, peppers, sometimes we eat those on pizza. Um, and then this has got the other fruits that we saw on the first page. Sometimes you might eat celery with some peanut butter on it. It's a crunchy vegetable. It's a great dipping stick. Here's the kiwi again. Those are soft and fuzzy on the outside, but delicious on the inside. This is an avocado. An avocado, you would never eat this part in the middle, but this part here is delicious. So if you like avocados a lot, you could draw avocados with, um, with, the, with them cut open so that you can see the inside. That's enough showing you pictures of different foods. Here's how you're going to do your project. I'm going to have a circle template for you, or your substitute will give you a circle template. You're going to flip it upside down, and you're going to draw your plate in the center of your paper. Now, I'm going to use a Sharpie. You guys can use a pencil, but I'm using a Sharpie so you can see real well. I'm going to draw the plate, or trace the plate. And then, you can include whatever silverware you need to eat it with. I'm going to draw a cup over here to the right. Okay, I'm going to draw an oval, and then two diagonal lines and a curvy line on the bottom, so it looks like you can see down into my cup. And then I'm going to draw my utensils. I'm going to draw a fork over here. Because lots of times you need a fork. Sometimes you might need a knife. Sometimes you might need a spoon. A spoon is a little bit shorter than a fork normally. Okay. I might need a napkin. So I'm going to put a little napkin over here on the side. Just hanging out. It's going to be folded in half so I can fit it on my paper. Now, let me think about some of my favorite foods. One of my favorite foods is macaroni. So I'm gonna include a big old pile of noodles. I just love macaroni and cheese. You can eat all these foods, but you don't wanna eat too much of the foods that aren't as healthy for you. Just need to be careful. 
These are elbow noodles. That's what these are called because they're kind of curved like your elbow. Elbow macaroni. Sometimes macaroni has different shapes of noodles. I love the kind too that's shells and cheese. They're shaped like little seashells. It's called Velveeta macaroni. So I'm just going to put that in a pile over here. And then I can include another favorite fruit of mine or food over here. And it happens to be a fruit. I love strawberries. Now this is a plate of your favorite foods. Normally you probably wouldn't eat all these foods together in one sitting. You might eat strawberries as a snack and you might eat macaroni at another time. Maybe for supper or for lunch. I just wanted you guys to see how you can build your plate with your foods. Now I do like some french fries. So Miss Raven's going to put some french fries on here. Those are long skinny sticks. Sometimes you might like crinkle fries. Crinkle fries are, um, they're going to be made with zigzag lines if you decide to do that. And I can't have french fries without my big pile of ketchup over here. So I'm saving that for later to add color to that. I do love potatoes, so Miss Raven loves mashed potatoes. So I'm going to draw a big thing of mashed potatoes. And then I'm going to draw a little circle in the middle. That's going to be where my brown gravy goes. Mm -mm -mm. And I like some chicken, some delicious chicken. So here's my fried chicken with the bone sticking out of the end. I'm going to put a few little wavy lines on here so it looks like the texture of the chicken. I do love avocados as well. My husband loves salsa and guacamole and I use the avocados for our, um, for our guacamole. You can make guacamole with avocados in a jar of salsa and it's really, really tasty. So there's my avocado and I like bananas. So I'm going to include a banana on here too. Okay. Alright. And then, let's see. I love oranges as well. So I'm going to draw an orange like it is sliced open. So here's my sliced open orange. And I'm going to draw another whole one over here that's really small. That's like the little cuties that you get from the grocery store. Now, I think my plate is pretty full. I need some drink over here, so Miss Raven's going to put a wavy line for some drink, and I love ice in my drink, so it's nice and cold. And my favorite drink is sweet tea, so I can color that in like it's the color of sweet tea. I think my plate looks pretty good, but sometimes whenever I eat supper at my mama's house, and that's one of the best places to eat supper because she's such a good cook, I eat on a tablecloth, and her tablecloth is checkered. So Miss Raven's drawing lines behind my plate and adding a pattern to the tablecloth. If you have time, you can add color to your artwork too. You can add some color. And after I draw all these lines, I've got to draw the lines going down. You need to color the foods the actual colors that they would normally be, of course. I'm going to draw a line going down this way. This is how I'm making my checkered tablecloth, but notice I don't go through my plate because I'm pretty sure I can't see the tablecloth through my plate whenever I'm eating dinner, unless it's a glass plate or a clear plate. And sometimes you do have those. Not many people have glass plates. This looks pretty good. I need to sign it, so I'm going to write Mrs. Rabin so that we know it's my paper. Okay, because we don't want to draw a beautiful artwork and then lose the paper because we didn't put our name on it. I hope that you guys have fun creating your art today and I look forward to seeing these when they're completed.